Hey everybody, welcome back to the San Diego Surf on NBA 2K19. We're in the 2025 season, which is oddly enough the same season I'm in with my Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. Anyway, we're 17 and 20, nowhere near as good as the Bucks in this series. We had that great season a year ago, and then what happened? Kept the same team intact, yet the results have definitely changed for the worse. I felt like in the last episode I posted, uh, I had a decent feel for the game again, but unfortunately, did not get it done late in the game. We're currently missing Colin Sexton and Jamal Cole, but they're both expected to return here pretty soon. Hopefully we can get this team at full strength, start to string together some victories, and get back into the 8 seed conversation and look to catapult ourselves from there. Not sure which game I want to watch today. We could always consider Frederick Wilcox and the Washington Wizards. They're up next. They're also not a very good team this year. They're only a 13-win team. Let's just sim this one. And it's a low-scoring win. And welcome back to Jamal Cole. Wow, Wilcox led the team in points. He really hasn't had good games against us. This is probably one of his best. Yet they still lose the game. On our side, Allen, 22 points. Neil Hope, 17 and 8. Casey Daniels gave us 15. And some solid minutes here from some of the role players. And there we go. Colin Sexton back. The team is at full strength. I sim through a couple more games, and now Rodney Kane has hurt his left hip. We continue to trade wins and losses. Can't get on a roll, but also don't go on a bunch of long losing streaks at the same time. So today, I think we will take on the Wizards after all. It sure looks like Frederick Wilcox is having a pretty good season overall. Maybe the best of his career. Washington's trying to turn their season around. We're trying to just get a little more consistent. We're not having to overhaul the team necessarily. Just got to take it a step further. I hit triangle I don't know but Washington has a, a pretty talented starting five I think they have a nice team here but I don't know they're still losing games Bradley Beal against Jared Allen that's how they're gonna start it down to Bobby Portis I'm not sure how we got that mismatch in the first place Stafford has it now doubled for a moment Beal with time running low, switched over to Beal. Got a nice matchup here. Unless he can get around us, and he can't, but Wilcox is there. Second chance points. Let's get a quick shot up here. Colin Sexton, a perfect release from the top. Gonna have to hopefully find some of those open opportunities maybe call some specific plays i know that the ones that are labeled quick are ones designed to get shots open oh that's tipped and lamb almost had it but it went right to wilcox here's hope getting open i'm taking that one as well quick turnaround three let's tie it at six what I really liked about the last episode I posted was I was finally able to really run the offense through hope, have a lot of success, and have a chance to win. It was unfortunate how the game ended, but it was still a step. And now a nice shot over Jarrett Allen by Bradley Beal. Washington not missing. Let's get a screen here from Neil Hope. All the way around, and Sexton can keep it. Gotta love how these fast guards can just get to the basket with ease. Let's see if we can get us a stop now. Beal, that's a block basically from Portis. That was a fullback lead right there. Let's get Wilcox driving now. And they'll forget about Casey. Gotta make sure we're drawing those double teams. That's one way we'll get these shooters open. Although, I'll take some free layups like that. Switch, okay. Beal, ah, right around me. I still struggle when it comes to those switches. Wizards up two. Screen set. Handle that one. How'd you just pass it through? Come on. Come on. 
So two early fouls here on Frederick Wilcox. That's going to take him out of the game. He tried to reach with his replacement, Neil Hope, who's getting the ball here. And we're attacking with another reach now from Stafford. That's one way to get this all accomplished here. 14-10 Wizards. Pick and roll with Neil Hope. Why did he go all the way out to the three-point line? Here's a quick shot from Daniels. It's offline, and Stafford's able to grab the rebound. It said switch, so I wanted the switch. I don't know. I still feel like putting the text on there hasn't helped me at all because it feels like those instructions are misleading half the time. Wow. Nice shot from Stafford. The Wizards go up seven. Their offense is off to a nice start. So John Wall comes off the bench for this team now. Dylan Brooks, he can shoot. I don't know. This feels like a tough matchup for us. I don't know why Casey Daniels is guarding Bobby Portis again. What's with our defense today? John Wall fouled by Sexton or Hope. Here goes Lyle Murray now all the way to the basket and we'll draw some contact. Fourth foul on Washington. Quick release there, a 73 rating for Murray. And we make both. Deflected right to Portis and then we grab the block. All right, let's go. Trying to recover from being down 10. Oh, I wanted Edwin there. Like, why would he bounce it all the way out there? Anyway, can we get some contact? Not quite, but Cole makes the basket. John Wall kicks it out to Portis, and his shot has just not been there today. He's trying. It's just not working. Almost lost it there, and out of bounds on us, really. John Wall versus the rookie Del Rosario with a spin. Ah, oh, man, just let him have the points, basically. Here's Alexi Edwin hitting him with the turnaround jumper, and now he's got four on the day. Pretty rough start to this one for the surf, as I kind of thought the Wizards offense has good enough ratings to destroy a team that I'm controlling. And we're down double digits here going into the second half, sadly. But I have a chance to make it a little closer. Let's jump in here in the third quarter. John Wall coming off the bench is having a decent day, it looks like. We'll see if we can get Neil Hope a little production here and get us back in this. Here's a wide open look, though, for Beal. Another good play by Beal, but he just couldn't finish at the basket. All right, let's go to Hope then. Can he do it? Yes. Awkward shot. Oh, I probably shouldn't have jumped there. I was just worried he was making an easy basket. Well, let's see if Portis can make both free throws. 91% free throw shooter. Okay, that's pretty good. Two for two with ease. Sexton, here's an open look, and some late contact there it looked like. Can we get a foul? That three wasn't really all that close. Now Brooks guarded by Hope, trying to go behind the back. I don't think you're getting by him, even if I'm controlling Neil Hope. Portis now against Sexton. How do we keep getting our guards on Bobby Portis? What's happening? A two for Casey? No, zero for Casey. Driving. Oh, I did not. That was supposed to be a pump fake. I tapped the square. Why would that be a full shot? Come on. Oh, come on. He ran into... He ran into Neil Hope. 
I cannot stand the illegal screen calls in this game. Here's Hope on the drive, and we get it over to Jarrett Allen, drawing that extra attention. So we're doing some things okay offensively. Guarding John Wall, he gets it up and over Colin Sexton, and that's another miss. All right, 13 points down, Sexton. Get it to Alexi Edwin, he'll do the rest. Mike Conley, John Wall, this is an interesting bench the Wizards seem to have. I kind of like their roster. Portis throws it up and it will not fall for him in this one. Just not working out. Neil Hope in response. Single digit game again. Let's keep this up now. We've trimmed it from 15 to a nine point lead for the Wizards. Portis out to Brooks. Wall's going to pull up and another miss. Good stop. Just drive. They're not ready for Neil Hope. Oh, what a move! Neil Hope's just so good. Just holds square and he figures it out. Got Alexi Edwin out here playing a little power forward as well. Kind of wanted to get him some extra minutes. I like him in this spot a lot. Maybe why he has a little bit of points in the paint tonight. And Wall just missed. Here we go. Nice run here for... Oh, what happened? I made it! I meant to pass it to Allen and put up a quick shot. And so I did the whole button combination even though I passed it into the defender. Everything's working right now for the serve. Oh, man. Slow it down. They finally made a basket. Hope. Oh. Why? Is it really L2? Is his button? Okay. I'm like, why am I passing with L2? I guess because in Madden there is no L2 for passing. Get it out. Wow, really? Alright, they got a couple baskets in a row now, ending our little run. It was a lot of fun, though, to finally uh, feel like the game is working. Here we go. Neil Hope. He's just so good. After a timeout, Frederick Wilcox back on the floor. Oh, the rookie Del Rosario went for the reach. Inbound to Higgins. Cole defending. They give it back to Brooks. Switch. All right, you got it. Conley can't get around Lamb. Fades away. And we play... Adequate defense this time. Here's Murray on the drive. I don't really like that there. Del Rosario wide open. The rookie hits. It's a four-point game. Is there a button that I can hit that tells everybody to get out of the way? I don't want to have to call like an ISO play to do it, but just like, can we call a different formation here? Oh, Conley left open there. Oh, he missed it though. Kyle Murray up the floor. How about the frustration out of Mike Conley in this Wizards team? I guess we're in the bonus. Murray, 73 rated free throw shooter. Going for his ninth point. Can't make that one, but it's now a three point game. Erasing this deficit basket by basket. Not bad. All right, Conley. What do you got now? Del Rosario trying to keep up defensively. Almost got it there for a moment. Looks like Conley's keeping all the way. He's going to have to pull up. And he lost the ball. Stolen by Del Rosario. And now, probably shouldn't get too aggressive here against the veteran. All right, pick and roll Jamal Cole. Let's see what we can do here. Let's bounce it into a player. Yeah, that didn't work out. I kind of like that's how it played out, though, on a close bounce pass as we get a block from Edwin. Love it. 
hoping we can still make progress here with Neil Hope not on the floor at the moment. Didn't want to give up that inbound under the basket. Instead, Felder gets open. Letting this play just develop now, I guess. And we're going down to Alexi Edwin. Down low against Wilcox. How about with the left hand? Doesn't even know what hit him right there. Alexi has his takeover. I'm not even sure what that badge is. I can't even tell. Uh-oh. Brooks. Was that too much space? It was. Six-point game, and we're into the fourth quarter. We had a pretty successful third, though. We were able to erase that deficit, make it close again. And it looks like Colin Sexton's back on the floor, at least, guarding Conley. Trying to spin. Now over to Wilcox. Oh, my! And he missed it. We get it to Cole. Sexton around Conley. Driving. Laying it in. Oh, they lob it up. Oh, and missed it. Another miscue for the Washington offense. And what are we going to do now? We got to play. Okay, I'm trying to trust the play calls a bit more today, and it seems to be working. I just don't know what they're always trying to develop. It takes some time for a lot of these. I guess I'm going to have to do something here with Cole. And we got him frozen there for a moment. Backed him down. He had like a little stumble recovery there, it looked like. It is a two-point game after a bad first quarter. After coming into the game down 15 points. Wilcox now. He only wants a little redemption. Conley trying to get around Sexton. He's blocked by Edwin. What a night he's having. Dwight Howard's proud. Still no Neil Hope. I guess not quite yet. I thought he'd be in the game by now. Felder, three seconds. He's going to have to pull up here after double clutching. And nothing but air. That's a three. Winley Lamb in the corner. I think for that to go, it had to be a green perfect release. What a shot, 81 to 80. And it's our first lead of the entire game. How about this? But, now that we have it, can we keep it? Five seconds, Felder. This team is doing some weird stuff offensively. How'd he make that shot? I guess it was open. But it just felt like he was eating up the entire clock and got away with a weird offensive call there. Edwin. Foul, then it's gonna count! Man, Alexi Edwin having the game of the year. 12 points, 8 boards off the bench. 13 points. Think about it, Washington. Neil Hope is on the floor. After a little bit, though, I might have to get Alexi Edwin back out there at a spot. He's just playing way too well to take off the floor. Here's Stafford back in now and tries to float it and that's another turnover. Bounce it ahead to Lamb. Over Portis it wouldn't go. Beal now on the attack. Little reverse. What? Beal really made both of those free throws. Missed my screen there and wow they're all over Colin Sexton. Driving with Neil Hope. Wow. Looked like he was able to drop that one in. Literally drop it in. Didn't work. And now they bury a deep two. I see Hope cutting. Hope. Oh, no. Get it to Allen instead. 11 and 11 for Jarrett Allen. I see like three players saying mismatch. Well... Maybe you two should have swapped defenses. Maybe you'll uh, be uh, not mismatched. Wow. Nice move. There are so many fist pick and roll plays, but not so many just like quick plays. Those are the ones I really want. So I can do stuff like this. Sexton! No! 
Got a decent look. Uh-oh. Higgins. Yeah, we got lucky. Up the floor now with Tempo. Allen. Is that really your call defensively? I guess Portis caught up. Not going to get these points easily. But chance to tie it now. Allen. Two for two. Tied at 88. Nice game this has become. Now Stafford against Lamb. Back to Will Coxon. The nice shot for another long two. Patient this time with my screen. And here's Casey. Ah, didn't trust it. Now what to do here along the baseline. Hopefully get it to Sexton. Wow, that was lucky. That should not have worked. We're making some things happen today, though. This is fun. 90 apiece. Beal. He didn't give it up? All right. Thought about it. Tipped it. I think I need to... Uh, I kind of want to call timeout right now, honestly. <laughs> Just uh, reset things a little bit. But we're going to do a little pick and roll. And in the corner. Come on! No! We couldn't do it again. Had a wide open look, Wenley Lamb. Nice job recovering defensively here. Oh, Higgins. I had a... I was out of place by a step. That's okay. Yeah, the dribble moves aren't really there for me tonight. They're just... Stuck to my... Ball handlers. Almost said ball carriers. Uh-oh. Hope. We're going to have to keep this one. Ooh! I wasn't so sure about that one. Beal! Blocked! Yes! Another block for the surf! Sexton! From deep! Yes! Five point game! Five minutes to play. Can't celebrate too soon. Keep playing good D. Beal. Uh-oh. Open for a minute. Beal. No! Up the floor. Here's Hope. Wide open. Yes, he cashes that in from a deep two. But we know they have some good three-point shooters. We need to... Uh, okay. Okay. I didn't mess that up. That was you guys. The spin, the screen, and Wendley Lamb. Feeling it today, everybody. Uh-oh. Just straight speed now from Stafford. Are you kidding me? He made that shot. That was like a football throw. Three-point play now, and it's a four-point contest. Another screen. Trying to get around. Wilcox! And there's contact, but no lucky roll. Bobby Portis, one foul from being out of here. Neil Hope buries the first. Triple digits, everybody. Not that it's all that special these days. Daniel's a little gassed here. I don't know if I should take him off the floor as Beal launches one. What are we thinking? Maybe uh, sub out Casey for Lyle Murray. All right, get the screen here from Wenley Lamb. Driving two on one. Lamb again. Oh, Wilcox, he's fouled and nearly lays it in. Washington staying in it. Wilcox, there's the first. Almost a double-double for Frederick, who hits both shots. So Lamb has it. We get... Oh, never mind. That was not the design whatsoever. Resume. Screen. I'm just taking it. Murray! No! That was a bad possession. Wish I could have set his feet there on that shot. Ooh, Portis out to Beal. 
Defense is getting much, much more reliable here. And that is going to go. Nice drive from Stafford. Lamb under the basket. Offensive three seconds. Oh. Uh-oh. Couple bad possessions in a row. Four point game in two minutes left. Good screen from Portis. We catch up to Beal. Stafford has it again. He's hit some big shots here in the fourth. Stafford on the drive. He just throws it up and that's gonna go in. Are you kidding me with that shot? How does he make that basket? Taking the three. No! Sexton couldn't hit it. 103-101. Stafford heating up. A minute and a half to go. Trying to smother him defensively. Beal. Now switched over to Jarrett Allen. Two on the clock. They have positioning though for the rebound. I gotta get there! Ugh. I knew that Portis was coming down with that if I didn't do that. Lyle Murray! Oh, come on! He was wide open. Sexton's got to hustle for that rebound. Beal. Tipped. Got it back. Ties it. Sickening. Down to Neil Hope. Can he get to the basket? Neil Hope! Contact! Okay, let's break this tie. He missed the first free throw. 34.6 seconds left. He missed both free throws! No! Beal in the corner! Oh my, he missed it. Thought about it twice. Hope. Oh, Sexton. Oh, come on. I was really passing it to the wrong guy there. I'm using up a lot of this time, by the way, on purpose. Hope. Oh, man. Allen. He made it! Jared Allen! I did it! Almost. 2.9 seconds left. What a game, everybody. Don't even talk about player of the game. It's not over yet. What a game it's been. 2.9 left. This is it. For the game, everybody. Frederick Wilcox fouled. He almost hit the shot. Frederick Wilcox against his former team for the tie needs both free throws. Oh, he made the first one. But he needs to make this one now. The crowd going wild. Ice in his veins. 105, 105. 1 1.2 seconds to go. And here for the win. It's Hope! Oh no, off the back iron, and we're going to overtime! Wow, what a game this has been. One of the best of the series. We couldn't hold our seven point lead. I think that's the best it was. So we need five more minutes to settle this then. And we start with the ball. Sexton. Let's get Neil Hope here. A little pick and roll to start things. Nice matchup with John Wall. Oh, lost the ball though. Not sure if I should have just kept it there with him. Deep three, KC. Oh my goodness! He hit that shot. John Wall. Isoed. Versus Sexton. We're holding up. Portis now blocked. Give me that ball. Out of bounds. Wizards ball. 
This is intense right here, everybody. Hope you're enjoying today's episode. Please leave a like if you are. Don't forget to subscribe. Wow, the series needed an episode like this. He missed it. All right. I see hope. And he's wide open, everybody! Nice move by Beal to the basket as they're able to cut the lead in half. Now KC trying to go all the way around. Oops. I keep hitting L2, by the way. I don't know why. Whenever I have that pulled up, for some reason I'm keep... I'm not sure what L2... What control I'm thinking of, we got the ball though. Why am I holding L2? KC gets it up quick! And Allen! Yes! Second chance points, five point game. What is L2? Is it a control from the show? Like, I think it's my defense, but that's obviously not something I have to worry about with the ball. I think I'm trying to, like, shield uh, my shooter from the defender. KC again, quick! Oh my, another one! 115, 109! By the way, Neil Hope flirting with a triple double. Needs a rebound and an assist. Higgins gets it up, and that is a huge shot. Another deep two, though. There have been a lot of those in this game. I see Casey. Do we give it to him again? How about Neil? Nope, not yet. Sexton. Oh, I meant to pass it back to Lamb. How about Jarrett Allen, though? Ball movement. We're doing it. Uh-oh. Higgins gave that up. That was a better shot than the one he actually took. A minute 40 left to go, though. Higgins thought about it again. But now what's the call? Nope. Forget that screen. Oh, Allen. Come on, man. We got lucky on that one. KC on the drive. KC to Sexton. Wow! Eight-point game in overtime. Switch. You got it. We did it. Nice stop. Nice stop. We're playing so well. Wenli Lamb! How about a 10-point game in overtime, everybody? Who thought I'd be in this situation right now? My goodness. By the way, I am just playing better. All-star. It's always there. Oh, a steal. How about that? Who wants to go up by 13? Oh, intercepted by Frederick Wilcox. But thankfully, we could afford that turnover. And they just keep missing anyway. What a game. Casey, let it fly. You're the reason we have this lead. Heck of a game, everybody. I've been really wanting some rejuvenation for this series. And I don't know if this will fully be it, but... It's about as good as one episode can be for us. This is fun. You guys are going to play defense? Give me a jump ball here in a seven-point game with three seconds in OT? Now I wish I had taken a nice shot there. I'm going to take one here after I win this. Wenley Lamb. That's right. Game over. Thanks for playing, Washington. It was a fun time. Frederick Wilcox had a nice little game. But how about the offensive efficiency in the second half? That was so much fun. We ended up winning by 7 after I came into the game down 15. Like, I'm super happy about that. Played some good offense. Didn't have a lot of wasted possessions. At least I think a lot of our misses were on fairly decent shots. That was a lot of fun. 25 points for Neil Hope. He was an assist shy of a triple-double. Nice game for Sexton. Jarrett Allen had seven blocks. Edwin had three. 
So many players came through for us in a big way tonight. That was a great game. And Frederick Wilcox ended up having one of his better games against us. 18 points. Let's sim another game to keep the momentum going. Oh, man. Alexi's hurt. And we just had a bad loss to the Timberwolves. So that consistency is still not there for us. That big win didn't all of a sudden spark something huge. We trade another couple games here, and we're at 21 and 25. So we'll probably do a lot more simming next episode. We're still a couple games out of the 8th seed currently. It's just a strange year for us, and it seems that there's always somebody we're missing. And in this case, we're missing two players, Edwin and Rodney Kane, who didn't play today. But that is going to end this episode. That was still a really fun game. I'm going to do my best to turn this team around and see if we can make it to the postseason. We'll see if we're able to pull it off. But thank you all for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun with this episode. Please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Have a great day.